morning folks, Guy here at Latitude Resorts. I'm not going to tell you the weather this morning because it's a bit much the same, all very boring, same as yesterday, you know, 32, sun shining, a bit of rain maybe later, that sort of stuff. Tides are boring as well. What I want to, uh, what I want to chat about is marketing. Marketing, because this is what uh, I think personally uh, the tourism industry tends to ignore. No, we pretend we don't, we pretend we're very good at it. Um, but we tend to ignore it. And why do we ignore it? Because profits have been decimated. Therefore, let's not spend money. Uh, let's not advertise, let's not market. Why? Because we don't have the money. Isn't that a catch-22? Well, we all know it's wrong, but we still do it. Anyway, that wasn't really what I was starting back. I really want to get that onto revenge. Yes, revenge. The movie I'm talking about, or the series, or whatever it is you want to call it, that aired last night on Channel 7. Now. Why I'm referring to marketing here is this was a fantastic campaign leading up to the first airing of this uh, of this series. Uh, I think I first saw the ads during the X Factor and I was horrified because the X Factor, you know, kids show, all that sort of stuff and they advertise this uh, thing about revenge and seeing people dead on beaches and stuff. Anyway, uh, it certainly stuck in my head the minute I first saw that and then they just kept inundating you with this advertising of revenge. Even on the side of the N3 freeway in Melbourne, uh, there's a big sign, or there was a big sign, billboard with revenge written all over it, um, and uh, timed in beautifully with a Coldplay's uh, song, Paradise, which incidentally is as boring as bat poo outside of the uh, one word chorus. Anyway, um, the point being is that they inundated us with this basic story, you know, Girl gets shitty, wants to take revenge. Well, there's something new, breaking news. How does that make a story? Marketing, that's how. And uh, they brought in the Coldplay song, probably their worst ever song for Coldplay, but it all tied in beautifully. What a fantastic marketing campaign. Two million viewers last night on Channel 7. Two million viewers, phenomenal. Uh, the only thing I thought was missing, uh, I didn't see a lot of the social media side of it. Now, I think that's because the Australian market isn't there yet. In the US, they would have probably been inundating the social media side like they did through Super Bowl. But anyway, interesting point, there you go, marketing, don't cut corners, you've got to do it. Anyway, uh, and that's a classic example where a boring old story can be sold a thousand million times over with the right marketing. Anyway, catch you later.